All right, we good now? Okay. Okay, as everyone has no idea where they're going. Okay, we're good now. Thank goodness. Uh, you're just supporting to watch the Laird lads? All right, I got you. How is, um, I, I, dude, I've been like out of everything. I've been out of multiple loops for quite some time. How's One Step doing? I, I trust destroying the competition as always. Also, Kev, I, I have something to talk to you about. I I'm a little... At first, I was a little salty, but I have learned to respect lemon pepper wings. At first, I was a little upset at you because you kept hyping up lemon pepper wings. Lemon pepper wings are the greatest thing. Always get those, right? And a little while ago, I wound up, you know, driving past a wing stop. I was just like, you know what? Let me let me stop by and try out this wing stop. Apparently, Rick Ross loves it, right? So I go to wing stop. I'm just like, eh, this, this ain't too bad. I had, like, the worst customer service situation ever. There, there was a manager who was sitting there, like, on his phone. And I walked up, and I'm just like, hey, can, kid, you know, can I get some wings? And he shouts out to the back as this one, like, dude is whipping up everything. Like, he's on the fryers, he's in the back, he, he's cutting up the potatoes. Apparently, Wingstop it has that type of reputation. I didn't know. All I knew about Wingstops was Rick Ross owned a couple Wingstops. That's it. That's all I know about Wingstop, right? So, I I go in there and this dude just yells at the back to this like one worker, who's who's doing everything. Yo, come up to the front. We got a customer. So you know he comes up to the front, takes his gloves off. I I get my order. We we go through it, and. I notice I'm not the only one in line. There's like three people. So there, there's one woman and her son, and then there's another dude, and we're all just sit, standing there, like like waiting for our stuff. And the manager is still on his phone. I was there for like 20, 25 minutes, and there's one dude just whipping up everything. Ah, you, you there? I know you. You owe, uh, I owe you money? How much are we talking about here? Uh, here's a piece of gold. Okay. I mean, we did just luck it. Ah! You really should reconsider. You know it is in your best interest. Okay. I've told you that I have no interest in betraying my guild. I do not believe your lies. I've heard the stories. Mere stories told to frighten you into saying... Staying with a dying organization. Why would you fear competition? Because they are weak. No, we have lost some members, but I've heard that many did not go willingly. Nonsense. They were as free in their wills as you are now. As you are now. Oh, okay. Uh... Wait, so... As you are now, there isn't that better. Whom do you follow now? I see you lurking about over there. I think it would be best if you moved on. No need in losing your life. Over something as simple as this. I know of you. This is your end if you fail the choosing. When the time comes, ours shall be the stronger guilt, and you shall serve it well. Remember. Did I? I didn't just... Team up with Bodhi, did I? I? I was pretty sure I told her no. Very politely. Um, I'll need my journal. And oh no. There goes coffee. Ugh. That's not good. Okay, I will play some music and I'll be right back so I can clean up all this coffee. Ugh. This gracious me, oh my.
Okay, so. Not too bad. Everything's cleaned up. Uh, all right, so assuming we're not part of Bodie's team, or at least that's how we're at, or at least that's where we're at. Uh, <sighs> so, coffee, you're going all the way over here, far enough away for me not to knock you over. All right, so yeah. Anyhow, I, I watched this one dude at Wingstop take care of everything. And it was just kind of... Kind of infuriating, to be completely honest. Do steaks right? You're eating steak? Well, no, you can eat steak for breakfast. Let me not, like, be that guy. But I'm assuming it's going to be steak and eggs? Maybe not. But yeah, Cav. Wingstop, my experience was just like horrific i got my lemon pepper wings i had lemon pepper wings i guess there was also like some um they, they do the order lemon pepper and then order something else it's 11 22 a.m you could eat whatever you want okay true that's a good point it's a very good point I'll admit that. Oh, I've lost the plot. So, we could right now go ahead and pay completely. Actually, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go talk to our, excuse me, our boy and see what his offers are. Because he might be offering something good. He might be offering some kind of eh. So we'll see how that works out. Also, if I'm correct, Kev, Dan is about to come to Street Fighter V? It's Dan, a rival school's character, and who else? That ultimately upset every single, well, not every single player, but a large amount of players. And also, how has um the lag been while watching any of the CPTs? Has it been noticeable? Have, have there been some matches that are just like, oh, this ain't, this ain't right, this ain't rocking? Like, you tell me. Let's save a game here. We're just going to make a new save. Jacob. Deal. There we go. We'll make that. Boom. Let's see. What are we doing out here? Now, I think Mavir's houses, Johnson, Galen Bale. Oh, we have to go see Galen Bale? Let's go talk to him and see what's up. If I'm correct, we should be able to just talk to him and get the rest of this plot going. What? What? They're not allowed to pick the grid. Like the grid is the, the grid is what you pick. Like like that's that it, it's what? Like for real? They're not allowed to pick the grid? Why? Why? I remember Capcom said something like that before. Steak, french fries, and some fried rice. Yo, I have been, thanks to Kev for showing me all the lemon pepper stuff. I got like, like some lemon pepper seasoning 
um some chicken uh chicken breasts cut like fairly fine hit it with the lemon pepper seasoning cook it up on like well eh, not fry grill and then i'll cut that up i have some rice with cilantro i make my own like pico de gallo and then just put that all on a tortilla throw on some lettuce a little sour cream some cheese oh i'm, I'm about to have that actually after i finish this stream like like it's it's delicious basically if you hmm what why so we can show off all these fun amazing like like no it, it's a game it's a match it's a match like like just let them play the match the match is the hype in and of itself but we got it we we got to do that 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 kind of hurts me a little bit to be completely honest with you Hmm. So this guy is begging for help. Um, the the person who is perpetuating crimes against him basically has gold. Slip that to the guards, and the guard basically is looking the other way. Yoshimo, I don't know if you want to get involved in this, Jacob. From what I've heard, the slavers in the slums here are not to be trifled with, but it could be fun, I suppose. It could be fun. That's actually a very very good point. It could be fun. Um you got something coming, pal. Just you wait. That was oh horrible voice acting. Okay, I actually kinda like that voice acting. Okay, there there's another save. Okay, save. That's 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 crazy. I need rest if I am to because we've already having people already prove that there's like some serious issues with online netcode. But whatever, right? it's not like I literally. Ex excuse me for another moment. I didn't spill any coffee this time. I just gotta like I'm I'm going I'm I'm going to the internet, y'all. To find out what the heck I'm supposed to do next. Oh goodness gracious. <clears throat> Cause I wanna like end the Thieves Guild. Or finish the Thieves Guild, and then, hey, we'll be all right. Um. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, like, they haven't cared from day one, and that's kind of my biggest, I guess, issue? If that makes any sense? That's, that's my biggest issue with the whole, like, shebang. Because they should be working to make the netcode... A way better experience especially now since we're not going to have tournaments or like like live tournaments for quite some time we're, we're not going to be sitting next to each other playing even on a grand stage it's going to be like like a little weird you know what i mean so i mm. it would have been nice if they like put out a patch that did something okay so we're not at fine proof of Ma Bear's treachery yet. Where the heck are we? I feel weird, like, not finishing an actual factual quest. Hmm. Okay. 
I figured out what's going on now. Blah. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to load up. Where were we? Here we go. Be quick with it. What do you want, growling? Oh, yeah, I know what we're supposed to do now. It has to do with Edwin. Blah. Freaking Edwin Odysseus. Welcome back to the land of the living. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm good. I, I needed... I, I've been out here. I picked up the Hagakure, the Tao Te Ching. I learned how to meditate. It, it's been a very interesting time for me, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's It's been pretty nice. Like, I feel good about what I've learned. I need rest okay, so let's go ahead and... Talk to Edwin. Surpassed the exceedingly That's what we're supposed to do. I have of you. you now have the trust of Navar securely in hand and have proven your competence to me once more. Though just barely. Oh, just barely. I I both love and hate Edwin Odysseron. That's just how I am. Pyro guys, how are you doing? Hopefully it's all good. Um Really? Is Battle for the Grid that good? Because I've seen people, like, play it and go crazy over it. It's just, I, I haven't seen too many streams of it. Also, they put out the combat pack recently with Melina. It's Melina, Rain, and Rambo. John Rambo. So, that's, whatever. I, I mean, we'll, we'll take Rambo, I, I guess. Hmm. Uh. That's that's true, Malarches. They they allowed uh, Capcom to do what they did, and now that we're in this position where the actual online means something, it's just like, well, you you took it for you, you know three four years, so eh, that's how that is. Okay, Edwin. Now that I'm assured of your loyalty to the cause at the moment, it seems an appropriate juncture to dispense with false pretenses. Your pretense of naivete and wilderness manners is clever, but a red wizard sees more than mere appearance. You have a secret, Jacob. I know why you are here, mashing your lips on Mayvare's boots. It's nothing to do with stipends or wages or other guild business. What? I have no idea what you're talking about, Edwin. I don't, and I don't care to. Don't insult my intelligence as if they could comprehend it. If you wish to maintain this lie, then I will be forced to confront Mevar with my suspicions. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've come to spy on Mevar. What do you want, Edwin? As it happens, I know where we can find the damning evidence of Mevar's betrayal of Renal Bloodscalp. That is your purpose here, isn't it? Yes, I thought so. Mayvare has been courting the Night Knives in order to bolster his own strategic position and betray Renel. Masterfully planned, but I have seen them. The Knives are a cutthroat guild of footpaths, brigands, and highwaymen based in the congested cesspool of Westgate. Obviously, they wish to expand. Mayvare is fully aware of the penalty if the Shadow Thieves learn of his plan. It would be disastrous both for his ambitions and his continued breathing. Dang. Mmm. Tekken and DBZ have fantastic netcode. I remember I played, um, who was it? I, I remember I played Anarch uh, all the way out in UK, Englandish zone. Actually, further than that. And it had less lag than some Street Fighter V matches I've gotten with people from, like, Mexico. Just putting that out there. Can't have a creative drought for a while? Yo, I'm same boat, man. <laughs> My personal devil? Ah. Dude, no rush. You might need to take some time. You might need to work on something. Get Baldur's Gate 3, lol. Yo. When it's out of whatever, it, it's not technically an early access. Like, people are testing it and doing stuff with it now. Um... Which is great, 
but it'll probably be sometime like early next year I'll pick it up after just work out everything. I still haven't beaten Baldur's Gate 2. Like, like I really still haven't beaten Baldur's Gate 2. And I woke up one day and I go on Twitch and I'm just like, oh, people, people w w when did Baldur's Gate 3? W w what was this? I haven't even beaten this. Like, I want to hit this up and then worry about it. Mm. True. I, I've been... I, I've been on an NLE chopper spiritual journey, Isaac. I've been out here meditating. I got the Hagakure. I got the Tao Te Chang. I've been reading that. I've just been trying to be better to myself and better with myself and deal better with any forms of anxiety. You, you know what I mean? I've been trying to like work that and be better with all these things. Um... DBFZ has the worst netcode? Okay, so Tekken. Tekken did all right. Mmm. Really? The Tekken netcode is bad? Tekken, for me, has been the best out of all the netcodes. Maybe Guilty Gear wasn't too terrible? Actually, no, I think Guilty Gear was kind of like, eh. But Tekken for me has been the best out of um, most of the fighting games I've played. Tekken desyncs all the time. Hey, the desyncs, I, I can't remember too many of them happening. I think maybe one or two. One or two desyncs did go down. But compared to everybody else, I, it, it was j just a breath of fresh air. NRS, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I mean, hey, man, look. Uh, Melina just came out. If that makes you feel any better, Melina just came out. Just ride with Melina. Have some fun. I got to check out the updates the devs have been showing. It's Larian, it's Larian Studios, right? I've heard good things about them. I just never gotten to play their games. <laughs> that's, that's just how it was. I, I wasn't. I, I I haven't beaten this, and a Larian game would probably have me stuck in a beach, stuck on a beach for like a year and a half. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Um, I conveniently have the key that opens his strong box. I plan to be on the winning side in this affair. Okay, Edwin. It figures you turn on your boss. How much longer do you think you've got before he runs on you too? Or turns on you too? Good God. Okay, I need that coffee that I spilled everywhere. Turns on you too, Jacob. You walk a dangerous path, wizard. After all your talk, you are nothing better than an opportunistic turncoat. Not that you think we should be complaining or anything. Would you require my peerless skill and finesse to break into Mother's suite? As you know well, my magical skills are supreme. No, I'll retrieve the documents. I don't need you. Shut up, Edwin. No, we're not getting Edwin. I'm sorry, you guys. As you wish, but I'll not wait about for you monkeys to finish your work. You'll find my bear's office on the floor below, and I've managed to procure a key that will let you into his strongbox. If you'll excuse me, I have my own retainer to collect for this particular betrayal. You aren't the only one stepping over Mayvair's bones to profit, are you? Should you collect your wits and realize that you would profit from my magical talents, as would I, which is the only reason I would travel with these simians, you can find me at the Copper Cornet. Okay, so what have I dropped? I dropped a bunch of sling stones. Before we engage in anything else, I really got to take care of my inventory. This is disgusting. They've done some good work. All right. For 150 gigabytes, they better have done some good work, man. Okay. Hey, what? What is up with my quests?
There we go. Okay. All right, I finally actually found where we are on the quest line. Edwin knows of my deception in joining Maver's guild and has given me the key to the box, Maver's quarters, which is on the second floor. Okay, it's on the second floor. Box probably has evidence. All right. Okay, so are we on the second floor or the first floor? Because we have to get to Mayver's lockbox. Now the question is, do we need to sneak in there? I'm assuming we just have to um, get some traps, right? Um, uh, map. Okay, no map. So if we go down this way, what? Uh, okay, okay, what? Okay, let's just. Let's just go back around and we'll go floor by floor, I guess. That's how we'll handle it. Uh, DOS 2. How Larian Studios presents the games. I've heard nothing but good things. If that makes any sense. Like, um, we're talking about being salty at Capcom for basically running as far as they could. But it seems like Larian Studios actually does care quite a bit. So we'll see. I'm I'm honestly looking forward to it. Okay, so let's hit the second floor and let's try to figure out where Reno's Ma Bear's stuff is. Okay. Shadow Thief is like uh, okay, there's a Shadow Thief here. We probably shouldn't, you know, try to steal things around him. So the question is, where's Ma Bear's <coughs> Excuse me. Where's Ma Bear's lockbox? So we're going to close can we close this door? No, I can't close this door. Ah. I am ready, I think. I can so, as well. Where the heck would his lockbox be? At the second floor. What'd she sell? Oh, uh, excuse me. I'm just going to be going. All right. So I'm assuming Mayberry's lockbox is right over here. Yes, you have. You and quite a few uh, other people. Ah, oh, I, I have so many items. Why do I have to be a hoarder? Okay, there we go. So we got something. Hopefully it's what I've been looking for. Also, bless you, thank you. So kind. Uh, Maver's letter. A letter from Maver to the Night Knight of Assassins requesting the, the death of Renal Blood Scout. This is just the kind of proof that Renal needs. All right, hey, let's go. Hopefully none of these guys have actually been paying attention to what's been going on. Yes, 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 I know Mazzy. Also, um, while we're out, while we're in Faerun, Baldur's Gate, let's have a conversation about what powers or how dangerous a rogue Illithid actually is. So, from where I'm at, a rogue Illithid is scary, but not necessarily the worst thing ever. You know what I mean? Like, a rogue elephant definitely is not fun. But... Like, how dangerous is it, in all honesty? I, I know that rogue elephants can become um, elder brains in their own right, which is actually horrifying. But... I gotta research that, in all honesty. I like... I, I like the idea. Okay, now where's the second floor of this place? No, that's somewhere... There we go. Alright, let's go talk to Runnel. Uh, Runnel, there he is. Hey Runnel, we found something. Ah, Jacob. I was just counting some loot from a delightful outing we had not long ago, and I thought of you. Mask, help me if I didn't smile just a little. 
You won't make that smile disappear, will you? You brought news, perhaps? You brought some evidence of Maver's foolishness. Tell me, Jacob. Yes, I have the evidence you need in these writings. It seems that Maver has been making overtures with the night knives. Is that so? Hmm, now that is unexpected, fortunately. It's more than enough to damn Maver completely. Thank you, Jacob, for providing this. Only the last Perfect. Of our duel remains to be carried out. Go and eliminate Maver. Hmm. Full authority. Do that, and this business shall be finished. Um, so here's a question. My, my character is lawful neutral, and I feel like I'm just running light like over everything. Should we say, yeah, we'll go ahead and kill him? Or do we actually play to our character and say, I'm no assassin, Reynolds? I provided the evidence to you. Kill May by yourself. I feel like he'll just turn around and say, do it or else. And then we're just going to have to do it or else he'll stab me in the neck or something. Yeah. Um, if a rogue mind flayer does actually like, that's what I'm assuming the whole pool was. That's a bunch of baby mind flayers. And I think I, I forget how it works. But he can become an elder brain at some point in time. There's also a host of other, like, very weird creatures that mind flayers can um, create. One of the weirdest things are actually, like, these little, uh, is it Shinagwans? Shinagwans? They're kind of like the creatures from the H.P. Lovecraft mythology. They're these, like, little fish people that were kidnapped by mind flayers and experimented on. And then I guess the Mind Flayers just said, eh, whatever, and they dropped them off back onto their little island. The thing about them is that with enough belief in something, collective belief, they can actually create a god. So I don't know if that's going to play into anything, because Baldur's Gate has always been about becoming a god. You know what I mean? Um, hmm. What else is there about that? That's That's pretty much... The only thing that I can think of, it just sounds like Rogue Mind Flayer is kind of terrible. And also, I don't think you want those guys to create, have you create a god in your image. Because you're not probably going to become the god, but they'll create something that is based off of you. So if they know you as a violent, warring, you know, creature, there will be a god version of you as a violent, warring creature who will probably see you as some form of abomination that needs to be destroyed. And then 500 years later, like, like no one will ever be able to rec recognize what they have as a god, as something that used to be a human, if that makes any sense. Or at least that's how I would run it. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's, let's do it. We'll take care of it. I feel bad that uh, my, my role-playing is bad, but let's just go for it. I started this off as a role-playing adventure, and then I lost the plot. And I've somehow managed to find it 12 other times. You must gather your party before venturing forth. I freaking hate, like, going through this zone so much. That's actually why I hate doing the Thieves Guild quest line. Alright, let's move, boys and girls. Alright, there we go. So we're headed back over here. Shouldn't be too difficult. We just gotta take care of Mavir and his guild. Oh, Christ. Uh, before we take care of that, we should probably, you know, rest. Let's go ahead and head over to... What, what is this? Seas Bounty Tavern? There we go. We'll rest at the Seas Bay Tavern and then we'll actually attack Maver. Okay, cool. Let's go talk to this guy. Let's get a room. And then we'll take care of whatever. It's a cold and dreary day when the dead cot extend a bit of hospitality to his guests. Come, enter and be you know what? at the Seas Bay. We got enough money. Boom. We can rest up good. Let's go ahead and organize ourselves. 
Now let's see what we can do. Ready for anything. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm sorry, I'm also going through all these spells like, oh, I, I have these things? Eh, we'll be fine. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I, I feel like we're just going to walk into here and immediately get backstabbed, but that's alright. I mean, it can't do that much damage, right? <clears throat> it starts in the hells. Well, you know what that means. Osmodeus is gonna make a deal. We don't know how it's gonna go, but odds are it's gonna be bad for us. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just have an Osmodeus pop. Osmodeus pop for no reason. Okay, yeah. Uh, stuff is going to get wild right now. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm I'm chilling. I'm not really trying to get like early access like that. I'm just gonna wait and see how the game turns out. To be honest. Uh haste on Jacob and let's go. Uh, hey, we got a scroll? Alright, let's go. That's that's kind of how I am with early access stuff now, or beta. It, 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 ah. Like, what do you guys think? Is it early access, or is it beta testing, or like, what? Also, why am I fighting these guys? I'm about to get, yep, backstabbed, I knew it. Also, woman, what are you doing? Attack here, there we go. Beautiful. And of course, really all we did was get a decent amount of gold. Actually, a really decent amount of gold, you know what? I'm not too upset about that. Alright, let's go take on Ma Bear. Yep. That, that's pretty much it. That, yeah. Like, there are... Uh, okay, I'll, t I'll, g I'll get into my early access story later. Because I have actually done early access. Believe it or not. For a game that I wound up really liking. Come for me, have you? Yes. No, I've still those loyal to you, and they have warned me. We'll not lay down for you. Do as you must. Are you sure, Mother? Okay, uh, we're going to do chain lightning. Right on my there. And is there any other specific spells that we're trying to use? Focus on? No, not really. I think we're just going to do my usual plan of curb stomp people. All right, let's do it. Okay, come on. We got to run some type of cover, y'all. Hey, chain lightning was actually useful. Imagine that. Uh, do we have any other really powerful... Well, we've got Kona Cold, which means that we need to be positioned properly. We'll just summon something, and we'll be fine. How's the rest of the crew? We're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're... Go team! <laughs> go team! Let's go! Followage? Yeah, I'm sorry, I haven't touched those in the mid either. Bad enough you have to get two copies, you and your nephew? Mm. Follow since, bro, you've been following for two years. Good God. Thank you. You've been here for a very long time. Thank you so much, Malarchus. 
Very appreciated, sir. Uh, is there anything else that we really need to pick up here? Also, who actually has, like, space in their inventory? Oh, I'm gonna have to do something with this. We're, we're gonna have to, it's Mazzy. Yeah, I, I love the idea of optimization. I, I was gonna say Pathfinder Kingmaker. Like, they just put out a patch not too long ago that, like, legit broke the game for quite a few people. Or at least it destroyed a couple saves for quite a few people and their issues on, I think it was PlayStation? Okay. So, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I do have an early access story. I have been a part of early accesses. And I'll admit, I did enjoy it. I'll admit that, I did enjoy it. It was the early access for Mordheim City of the Damned. Hey! We could have snuck in through there? What? Okay. So, I did play it, I did enjoy it. Should we open these doors for these guys? Yeah, we might as well. We'll do something nice. My lord, you've done it. The tyrant is dead. For once... A death in this hell is welcome. Please, I will... W will you release me? I've been in prison for ten, ten years, Jesus. What'd you do? Nothing, sir, I did nothing. That savage Mava merely perceived I had cast a look of contempt at him. And he had his men capture me. I was tortured here for ten years. My pleas of innocence laughed at. The monster said that I was to be an example. Mava was not to be shown disrespect. Or perceived slight. Was I... Was I imprisoned? But now my tormentor's dead. Yeah, man, you're free to go. Thank you so much. Long have I waited and suffered. I'm forever in your debt, good friend. I must leave now, for I can no longer stand the stench of this place. Okay, cool, we saved somebody. Yeah, beta is something they're still testing and fixing. So really, early access... The di Wait, hold on. Because I feel like they interchange beta and early access quite often. I, I feel like they're almost interchangeable. Because if you're still, like, changing things, you're still working on fixing the game, then, bro, you're still, you know, in beta. Like, what I assume after beta is the finished game, not slightly off date or whatever yo Vale, what's good it's been a while how you been yeah um i woke up and found out baldur's gate 3 was a thing and people were playing it and then i said oh i've never beaten baldur's gate 2 for shame because i've been trying to beat this thing for like 10 years <laughs> and that's how that worked out did we grab everything yeah we grabbed everything I I have been meditating. I've been reading the Hagakure, Dao De Chang. I've been trying to exercise more. I've just been it's it's been better for me. So I'm happy. I've been working. So that's what's up. But I'm glad you're doing well as well. But yeah, so it's like there's this period of time. Where, okay, we're developing a game. Okay, it's good enough for people to get early access. Uh, is early release. It isn't even beta. But it's already fun as heck. That's good. I'm glad. So. So, this is early release is like. So, so there's beta. Early release slash. Um, what, Steam used to have green light, that, that zone, and then there's the finished game. The only thing that I have issues with is when I get the finished game, like let's say Pathfinder Kingmaker, and then there's 95 million patches. That's, that's what like, just salts me. That's what I hate. 
So if this is how it's going and they'll work on fixing whatever needs to be fixed or optimize whatever needs to be fixed and actually have time to do that instead of putting out like a series of patches that become ever bigger like who is that who just had like a ridiculous patch when they came out was it fall guys somebody had a nuts patch the release pattern gets it stable mm. but instant access mm -hmm. I'll agree with that. The tail of your but it's not really. My ear. Such things tend to. Well done, I say. Your reward is well earned. It's not really like, you know, what what did they say? If you're not excited to play it in its current state, then just wait. Yeah. It, it's it's become a just wait for me because of so many games that I've like hopped on and just been like, okay, this will be fantastic, and then it's just like. Yeah, you know. That's good. Mhm. Mm um, I think you will find the amount adequate. Ten thousand five hundred gold is no small fortune, though I think you deserve a little more. For my personal reward, army, or oh, good grief! For my personal collection of sword. Take well and good care of it. You have served well, and I'm grateful. Go on your way with my blessing. Anything you tell me about Arenicus or Imowen? Didn't Galen already tell you what the Shadow Thieves know? Would be perfectly willing to help you out. At the correct price. Okay. I cannot confirm anything else about the deal except to confirm that yes, we can look into the locations of both Arenicus and your friend Imowen. Prying such information from the Cowed Wizards will be difficult, hence the cost. That is all I will say. Raise your money for Galen. You will not be disappointed. Okay. Hey, somebody leveled up? No, nobody leveled up. That was just... Oh, no, Mazzy leveled up. Hey, let's go. Okay, Mazzy, pick up whatever the heck that is. Um, hmm. Yes, from Baldur's Gate 1, I'm still playing my uh, half-orc fighter cleric. It, it's going to be a long trip, but we should at least start... Uh, I feel like we should pay Galen bail now. Is there anything that, that we still have to do? Is there? I hope not. I'm not fighting Furcrag. That, that's not happening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a general statement, too. But my experience was, um, ch -ch 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 Mordheim City of the Damned. It was in that, like, steam green light zone. So I, I was really into the game. I thought it was going to be fantastic. I was, I was going to be really interested in streaming of it. I, I watched a couple other people play it early access. So I was just like, you know what? It, it's on sale. I'll pick it up. And I did enjoy a lot of things. And there were quite a few balance issues that a bunch of people were complaining about. This is set in the Warhammer universe. So there are, in fact, creatures known as, um, well, they're just de demons. Demons, demons, wh whatever. They're demons. And they had a chance to show up even in your first actual missions in the game. And they're ridiculously terrifying. They're powerful. They're strong. They can take out your whole, like, crew very early on i actually liked that risk because there was a ridiculous xp reward for actually beating them which i did every now and again sometimes you know you just had to cut and run but i liked that and that was one of those things that a large um community of the early access players hated that i liked so it got pushed back i think to when your whole team reached like level five or something like that. And then there was the talk of competitive because there were ways to play against people in the same country as you. 
you know, take your war band and go against them. And there was a big thing about like someone, you know, like save scumming in order to in order to have like the greatest possible group, the greatest army ever and kind of cheating in that regard. So basically what wound up happening was, you know, you have one save, it's an auto save and it always updates after every single match. Or if something like weird happens and you crash or yada yada, it you you lose that match. So when you lose a match, you roll on like a random table for whether or not someone gets injured. And that's that that's a, that's a rough thing. That was pretty much what they wound up coming down with. And for me, I've run into a situation in the game where I was playing an all Skaven army, and I had a bug that made it so I could not complete a level. So if I quit and cut and ran, well, okay, nine of my people could possibly like lose a leg or an eye or whatever, and it just, I just didn't like that, how it wound up working out. So that's my early access story. Uh, I, I understand that they didn't want people to, you know, come in with God tier teams from saves coming. But also I was just like, uh, this would be a lot better if I could just have individual, you, you know, a couple saves per group. That, that's my whole thing. There are a thousand things to do. Okay. Okay. Not now. That's good. Okay, so really the largest invader through D. Uh yeah, that's pretty much where it is. I, like the the language has become okay. I, I, here we are with, with Massey. The language has become so it's like, hey, we're we're doing, you know, this. No, no n ah. I can't even talk. Give me a second coffee. What's left of my spilled coffee. So the language is such that like, like it becomes, it, it, it's all like grouped together. Is this really a beta? Is this really an alpha? Is, is this really like, like a finished product? If you're still working on it, look, I, I just want the, the game to be good. That, that's it. I've learned to like, kind of like chill out and wait. And depending on how vocal like members of the community are on certain things, things will most likely get changed. Like Pathfinder Kingmaker just put in, I think it was a turn-based system. So, eh, you know, it's all right. Two or three? Oh, that two is in full release, yeah. Oh, and Vale, something that you might be interested in? Hello, there, friend? Sorry if I disturbed you, your chain of thought, but you look new to the city, and I wonder if I might lend you a hand. Okay, lend me a hand doing what, exactly? I look new. H -h How do you mean? I didn't mean anything by that. You just don't have the look of one of the locals. Shows in the way you wear your tunic, or maybe how you stand. Just thought I'd offer a friendly word or two before the exper you experience otherwise. This place can treat new crumbs quite rude sometimes. Yes. Oh! Yes. Someone's following? Yes. Yo, thank you for following. Uh, give me one second to actually... I would say please comment and say what's up. Uh, leave me alone, my friend. Alright, we're good. Because I completely missed that with how things are set up on my screen. It's been a while since I streamed and things are, like, odd. All right, I'll leave you if you want. Okay, bye, man. Thank you for following, by the way. It is very appreciated. Um. Mmm. Two, okay. So, there's a big... Oh, okay. There's a massive uh, Neverwinter Nights thing that's going on right now. Shifter was taken. Yo, what's good, man? To feel a bit of nostalgia? All right, cool. Well, if you would like to see any of the previous 
episodes i think some of them are up on twitch and if not on youtube there's some old episodes that you might be able to watch i sadly do not have my entire baldur's gate one playthrough okay so we're going to joaquin's promenade and we're gonna take care of some stuff because i have too many things shifter does that ever happen to you where you just have way too many things because I've, I've hoarded magical items that I don't need, and I, I, I don't want to get rid of them, but I really should. There's this part of me that's just like, I might need it every every now and again. I might need this plus two longsword, guys. <laughs> <laughs>